just want to be able to to provide for my family and just just live life with them. Pretty much, yeah. That's all I want. New tonight, a San Antonio father of three young boys is in dire need of a kidney. He fears without it, he doesn't have much time left. Now he's turning to the community for help. Oftentimes being on the list for organ for an or organ donation means you could be waiting for years. That's time he may not have. Yeah, Fox San Antonio's Robert Ogenye talked to him about the toll his health has taken on his family and how you can help. Help my family, Lord, through, through, this, through these moments. Uh, Just have faith that everything's going to be all right. But yeah, you're, you're always scared. Living on a prayer has never had so much meaning for Pablo Hernandez. The former car salesman is 38 years old. He has three sons, ages 13, 11, and 10. And he has end-stage kidney failure. His life is one he doesn't want to give up yet for his family. They're, they're set out. Yeah. It's effective, though. I used to be energetic, you know, now I'm all, you know, without, without no energy, you know, I'm not the same dad no more, you know, I'm not the same no more. Pablo has been on dialysis for a year, but his kidney started failing two years ago. When he was first diagnosed, he was in stage three of failure. He says the hardest part is having his boys watch him suffer. They know I'm sick, so they, they try to help out, help out as much as they can. They're supportive, they do care. I ask them if they cry sometimes at night, and they say they do. On average, a living kidney donor will last twice as long as a deceased donor kidney. There is hope for Pablo if he receives a new kidney, preferably from a living donor. Pablo's father-in-law was a viable match, but doctors later determined his heart was too weak for the operation. He's waiting for a donor on university's living donor program list, but the average wait time for San Antonio can be six to eight years. The clock is ticking, and while variables like blood type, antibodies, and overall help determine if someone is a match, doctors say if you're willing to donate, don't do the guesswork yourself. Don't try to figure out if there's a match or not. Just, if they're healthy, just have them come. Have them come and present themselves, and then, you know, we can, we can help find a way. For now, Pablo is spending all the time he can with his wife and kids when he's not in treatment. He's holding out hope he'll find his match, and he encourages anyone who notices something changing in their body to see a doctor. Take care of yourself, get, get, get tested, because uh, it's, it, it's real, it's real. All right, love you guys. You too. You too, you too. All right. Robin Oguinye, Fox News at 9.